quick. In this game for ages three and up, you have one minute to list everything you know about a single number. Use your number sense as you race against the clock to become the player with the most unique uses of the word. To play, you will need a deck of cards. Take out one card of each number, two through 10. You will also need a minute timer. A timer on a cell phone will work just fine. And scrap paper and pencil. To begin playing, flip the first card in the deck over. Place it face up next to the deck and begin the timer. On your scrap sheet of paper, list everything you can think of about that number. For example, if the number is three, you could draw three flowers, write triplets, list number sentences such as three equals one plus one plus one, or any other things related to three. If you can't think of things to write down, instead of drawing three copies of the same thing, try writing number sentences. When time ends, read your list aloud to the other players. If two or more players write the same thing, all players with that item on their list must cross it off. If an item on a list is incorrect or questionable, use a table vote to decide whether or not the item earns a point. Repeat the process until all players have shared their lists. For each item left on your list, you earn one point. Now let's see around. Is everybody ready? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna flip it over and then that's, and then I'll start the timer, okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Write everything you know about ten. You're looking at Can we draw? Yep, you can draw. But if you can't think of anything but pictures, try writing number sentences too. I'm done. You can't think of anything more? No. No? What about other things you can add to ten? Wait, we can write other things about the number? Mm-hmm. So... Okay. Sure. You don't know anything else? You can't think of anything else? No. I'm done. I'm done. I almost yeah. filled up my paper. Ten more seconds to get anything else done. I'm done. You're done? Alright, we can wait it out. Do we need the rest of the paper? Alright. The player with the most points after three rounds wins the game. Here are some questions to think about as you play the game. Where do you experience numbers in everyday life? Which numbers were the easiest to play? Why? With which numbers are you most familiar with? Why do you think that is? Can't get enough? Try these variations. Double trouble. Draw two cards to see how many different connections and relationships you can list using both numbers drawn. Fact frenzy. Using only the numbers drawn, a maximum of four times, how many different sums, differences, products, quotients, etc. can you create? Have fun playing!